You'll get... Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Whitman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grand Bridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. Garland puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Garland sees an important meaning. Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows?
I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. There's no yellow on our longships beyond some small details. If there's a yellow longship in the fence, I want to know. I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. I have an iron stomach and a powerful thirst! Eivor, this is a surprise. I was wondering. The visions you've had about you and Soma, how do you interpret them? A piercing question. I believe it means that Soma will lead me to greatness, however difficult. That she is linked to my destiny. Why were you at death's door when Soma found you? I left my clan to pursue my vision. I don't remember much. The sacred plans addled my memory. But I was hungry for more visions. You may not understand, but Soma does. She knows the gods have a plan for me, and that following it is worth any risk. I found a letter to the Saxons from Wickmund. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. Strange. Only Leaf would have the tools to alter the color of our longships. Something to ask him about. Did you see anything odd when the attack began? I did. I saw a wave of Saxons appear in the heart of Grand Bridge, as if by magic. Odd as wings on an eel. I fought ragged to the brink of death from one night to the next. You saw the end of it. Wolves almost took me. I should be going. the regular sunbeam I've come to know. Something weighing on you? I was wondering on a few things. It must ache to serve under someone you love so deeply, one who doesn't love you back. Some days the pain hits hard. I need to press my hand into my heart to keep it from digging through my chest. You were a smuggler. Some would say that's not a trustworthy past. And water is wet. What a surprise. I'm an opportunist. I see a chance, I take it. It's helped Soma so far. She knows what I am, what I was. But she trusts me. Who would better know the difference between a joke and the truth? I found a letter telling the Saxons not to attack a longship painted yellow. None of our longships are painted yellow, I don't think. What happened the night of the attack? The people were at peace. A beautiful night, fog and all. Then came the Saxons all around, and Soma roaring like a great bear. When she called a retreat, we ran for the longboats, aiming to regroup in the swamps. It was an ambush, no more, no less. I need to get going.
Eivor, you look like the wind has fled your sails. What's going on? I was wondering. You told me you often disagree with Soma's orders. I do. But I follow them. It's my duty to this clan, to my Yal's Kona. A man's honor comes from his acts, not his wishes. You said your yellow paint was stolen before the attack. Aye. And yellow is not an easy pigment to mix, let alone acquire. I was furious it was stolen. How did you feel when Guthrum named Soma the steward of Grandbridge, and not you? If being honorable were easy, we would have no evil men. It is something I... I wanted, sure. But I'm a man of honor, above all. I found this odd letter, telling Saxon forces not to attack any longship painted yellow. I never painted any longship yellow, beyond a few small touches. It's expensive. I know of no such letter. How did the night of the attack play out from your view? I was working in the shipyards. Next thing I knew, the city was burning from the inside. Then Soma led our retreat. I should be going. Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Lif, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. You there. Did you see anything strange around Grandbridge before the attack? I didn't. I was in the longhouse drinking with Birna and her men all night. She can really put it away. Did you see anything strange on the night of the attack? Hmm. Come to think of it, I noticed one of the longships wasn't where it usually is. It was beached further north, on the riverbank. Where was this? Northeast of here, along the shore. It's been a few days, though. May not be there now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
This tunnel leads to the longhouse. The traitor marked it with a yellow cross, then opened the way and let them in. The traitor must have exited here with a few more, heading away towards the riverbank. Poor fields. Tough lands, old man? Those rats. I tried everything. I poured lye, I harvested locusts, I hired children to kill them. I need an army of miracles. They are pesky, and have ravaged your good crop. Nah, the gods can't get at rats. Ha! You heathens and your gods. All I want is to rid my field of rats. Feed the fair folk of the Shire. You need natural warriors to keep them at bay. My poor fields. God, why did you send so much vermin? Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel.
Yara! Survivors ran into the fog, pursued by half the party, while the other bandits looted it. This carving references Galen in verse. This longship is splashed with yellow paint. A quick job. Why would it be painted a different color than the others?
Did you find enough clues around Grampardshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? I found Gallen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Gallen. You have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny. Carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real <sighs> with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Think you can do it with the best?
Altar is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lucky. Pause. Itch. Where is that rat? I am going to skin him alive. his throat from his neck with my teeth. Marcus Nix 
Sit at Bulgares de Terra Super Bus Est. Yo, venite a... Probably cowering within the monastery. Solum Rishuron Lava! Hey, come here! Ah! 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 Ah!
Raider! Vikinger! Stop him! He needs to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me! There is no way to offer sacrifices. That lasts for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad. should return to camp before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time, but trust, that will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just it's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Brit is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, 
My home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grantbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. <laughs>